Hello and welcome to my Elite Dangerous, the day-to-day -day grind. Grind time all the time. <laughs> Full-time grind, almost. Well, this is the material part of the grind. And uh, about three videos ago, we landed at Dav's Hope and collected some uh, manufactured materials. And then we uh, went out and collected some raw materials and collected some bounties on skimmers and stingers. And then we went into the big crater at uh, Dav's Hope and collected some more bounties and some more raw materials. And then we came out here to uh, Jameson crash site and collected encoded materials in the last video. And now we're going to collect some raw materials and look for skimmers and stingers to collect more bounties. And on the Elite Dangerous News front, yesterday was the uh, copying of the live to make it ready for Beta 2 fleet carriers. And we haven't heard the uh, fleet carrier date yet for beta 2 when it's going to begin but um, you know we'll be listening for that we did hear news this morning which is kind of unfortunate but expected because uh, <laughs> you know it's that's just the kind of way it goes uh, the December 2020 our 3306 uh, mega update that they've talked about has been delayed, delayed till early 2021. That would be the space legs, the personal planetary uh, bases, and landing on planets with atmospheres. So that has been delayed. So we just, of course, have to be patient. They blame it on the COVID-19 work at home effort. So there's probably a little bit of of delay expected but uh, you know we hope it doesn't continue to be delayed after that so because I am looking forward to the uh, the space legs part that's probably the most important part and the second is landing on planets with atmospheres would be second for me uh, now the fleet carrier is huge it might just might be <laughs> the best content that has been made which probably is the best that has been made especially for me and uh, and it might even be better than the space legs I say might you know there's gonna be a matter of opinion on that and there probably should be There'll be uh, different views on that. And uh, now the planetary bases, that wasn't as important to me. Personal bases because of the fleet carrier. The fleet carrier takes care of all of that for me. Uh, I love being able to take my stuff, my assets, around with me when I go places like Dab's Hope and James and Crash Site and just make rounds and do things. You know, go for several days or for a week or so. Somewhere. And because we make all, or I make all my credits at Sothis and Seos, you know, that's always part of the grind going back and collecting uh, credits. Now we are over 10 billion. Is this right? We are at 10.012 billion. Our competent combat rank is up to 21% from 18%. So we have added a few percentage points to that. So uh, that's going to take a lot longer. So let's look around and oops, there it's uh oh, is that James and Crash site though. Is this left? We always need to keep the perspective of James and Crash site. 
Nope, James and Crash Site's way over there. Okay, so this is probably something else. Because James and Crash Site will. See, that's four. So it's not real strong over there. So. So this is probably something that we need to take notice of. Because yes, I would like to get that combat rank up without um, high risk. I like ro low risk combat, which it's hard to get much lower than the skimmer stinger. Now the payouts are not great, and but you do get uh, bounty claims. That uh, I think it's Tom McQuinn wants those bounty claims and then we go over to Jean Celine or something like that for the uh, grade 5 armor so yes I would like to have that I mean it's not you know super critical because I don't get shot at as much because I don't lose the, most of the interdictions to where I'm having to run. <laughs> now I do get shot at the stations and of course you have at the stations where in auto launch and, and auto landing they run into things so and when you come out of super cruise I've been pushed into the station before and that's eaten up a, a ring or two. So um, We do, I need shields. Now, I've had comments on our, below our videos, that someone going out to Sothis and, oh, I'm out here without shields. Uh, no, thank you. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not that brave. <laughs> no, nope. it's shields for me. But we use Synthesis to refuel our SRVs a lot of times when we're out in the field. So the materials are very important. And because of the engineers, they require many. Materials. I like having Jameson uh, targeted because I can keep perspective of where I'm going. And the rougher terrain causes us to go a little bit slower, can't go quite as fast. And uh, for those that it bothers when they watch the videos, we're very sorry about that. Might have to, for a while, pick videos that are not as rough. Because I understand these are. When I first started, I could only play for about 15 minutes at a time with a VR headset. But after a few weeks, that went away. Mostly. I mean, I still had it off and on probably for a few months, but now, no, I don't get motion sickness anymore. But your system does get used to it. But be sure to look to the lower right-hand corner of the video and press that subscribe button. That would help me greatly. Okay, this might just be... Now they're rolling away from something. So there might be something up further. I don't collect canisters. For one, the uh, SRV can only handle two at a time and you have to call down the ship and load up the ship. And there's our trespass zone. Now will we have any cover is the question. We might.
Lawless, Lawless, and Lawless. These help us with our combat rating, but they really don't help us that much with, um, with bounty claims. Because our ship and anarchy systems a lot of times will say lawless. <laughs> so yours will too. Morning. You have entered a trespass zone. What I look for is uh, materials. Trespassing and because, because we do get uh, support ships show up and shoot at us at times, I do relog. I go back to the main menu and come back. Is this right? Yeah, we're still at 21. Is this left? And we always check our finds and bounties and we're clean at the moment. But again, I am a trader, explorer, not uh, much, as much into combat, so Skimmer Stingers is a way for Frontier to allow those that play like I do to get some experience with uh, combat. And it's good because we get to kind of add to our combat rating. It's slow, very slowly, but we do get to add to it. And I know some of you are very good at combat, and that's awesome. I wish I had the, I guess, the guts for it more. That that's what I desired to have in my gameplay, but it's really not. I can make credits. Not, maybe not as well as some of the super miners. And um, my strong suit is not asteroid mining either. But I do some. And I do about a third of what the little bit are the better asteroid miners do. So I'm not completely out of the ballpark, but uh, I don't do as well. And not really as close. But since I can gather credits through cargo missions, that works for me. Sis left. Oh, we're losing our tracking again. See, I wish it would come back, but it doesn't. I have to re reboot the Oculus to get it to come back. So I have enough trouble with Oculus. There's the Jameson crash site over there. But I'll have to relog to get it to come back again. You can see it's real hazy looking. But yes, it was disappointing news that uh, the super update for December was pushed further away. But for me it wasn't surprising. Because delays are pretty common with Frontier. We've come to expect them. And be sure to look, uh, look underneath the video in the description, at the bottom of the description, and you'll see ways to donate. Please consider donations. That'll really help me out now instead of just in the future. Creating YouTube videos is a lot of work for, in the beginning, no return. 
except for a few pets on the back on, in the comments. That's about all you get. And I put in hundreds and hundreds or thousands of hours producing these videos. I do capture all my gameplay now and some I add commentary during the video as we're doing right now and others I've learned how to add the commentary later so if I'm just grinding and something happens and I want to make that into a video I can go back and put in the commentary to that video so that's a good thing it takes longer to do it that way and that's why I normally don't do it but sometimes we have audio issues and we collect the video but wasn't able to collect the audio but we'll try to finish out going after this this target or this trespass zone but we still check the status even though the last one our last couple said lawless There's a very good chance that these will be lawless too. That means they do not have protection under the law. So no bounties. So the same way with us, if we get killed by an NPC, there's no bounties put out on the NPC. Or if we were playing live, there'd be no bounties on that player. So what is that? Oh, we got a lawless skimmer. It's a single at the moment. Might have to go around. get a shot off now if it's a single we can take him on yeah, it looks like a down satellite target destroyed handbrake is on a lot of times we can scan the satellite for encoded information to trespass zone. Sis left. Yeah, I'm always checking to make sure I didn't mess up somewhere. But we haven't. Looking for some material. Sometimes materials are laying next to them. Okay. Okay, we're back and uh, tracking is working at the moment. We had I had to restart the Oculus. But like I've said, it's not just Elite Dangerous that I have uh, frustrations with, like with stuck throttles and 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 the mission critical message when you're trying to look at missions. But uh, my voice attack has issues at times where it takes two or three four times to get it to take the command and uh, oculus 
can't keep tracking so <laughs> there's still plenty of complaining to complaints to go around sis left keep the perspective of Jameson crash site over there now we're still at 21% combat and within uh, competent wait for our signals to come back some material that I can't lose track of going after material that's, that's what we need to now what my plans us usually are is we do some grinding we do some excursions and we go back to grinding and we do some <laughs> excursions uh, and what my channels about mostly is that you just come along with me and uh, we just go throughout the game. The things that we do, like engineers and uh, the material traders and uh, collecting materials and there's a there's a video on the Guardian surface site. See, that was my first, very first time there, so it you can tell that it was my very first time there. <laughs> It was a first look, that's for sure. And uh, but I was able to get the uh, blueprint for the uh, Guardian FSD booster, which is really nice to have. And as soon as you get the blueprint, you can buy as many of them as you want. And you'll, as far as I know, you'll always have it. It's like when you unlock a uh, engineer, you always have it. You can always go back and and upgrade another module or and those things so those things are nice to have got another one it's in there okay thinking we had let's go ahead and do a look around sis left sis left okay it's behind us See, these are those double marks. So, I mean, it could be a ship or it could be one of those mining camps. It's usually different than just a standard trespass zone. Out here, my guess, it's probably a ship, but I just have to go find out that's what we do we just go find out what is it and you know if I ever get into an uncomfortable situation where I feel like I'm we're about to be attacked I exit <laughs> I mean I have an exit button and I use it I don't stay in the situation if I have a way out
Yeah, we're waiting for the announcement of Beta 2 for fleet carriers, so we're still waiting for that. Yeah, we do have a trespass though. It's a bigger trespass zone, yep. It's a mine like a mining camp. Look at the turrets. There's a turret over there. Yeah, I don't get too close because I don't want to get shot at. But it looks like it'll probably be one of those automated mining rigs. But I don't see any reason for getting involved with that thing. <laughs> well, I do appreciate you coming along and watching the video. And please press that subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything and you get notified when I produce more videos which is pretty much all the time we're up over 605 videos as of the publication of this video I've got several videos all stacked up that I need to edit so I'll be working on those today so it'll be well over 610 by the time I get these videos edited and produced. And be sure to consider sending a donation in the description below the video. You will find ways to donate. Please consider donating. And. Uh, Underneath the video to the left, you'll see my YouTube channel, GFM underscore RDG, where you will find uh, those 605 plus, which is probably more like 610 plus, or will be by the time that this video is published. collect another material we know that upper level is that uh, mining zone now if I recall the ship right now it would probably try to go land by that uh, mining zone that, that mining area they seem to do that So we'll find this material and then we'll recall the ship. But be sure to join us again for the next videos. I said we'll probably go back to Sothis Mining station and start running some missions of part of our preparing for the new content sis ship Yeah, he's parking a little ways away, so it's probably closer to that uh, mining camp. They seem to want to do that. Wherever there's conflict, they want to be near it. 
unfortunately. Yeah, 1100 away. See, it shows that we're lawless. <laughs> it's like, why does he have to park that far away? And there was plenty of area over here he could have parked. And like I said, it's probably near that, uh, that trespass zone. Sit down. Sis full. So until next time, please subscribe, please consider donating, and please watch more of our videos. And uh, the next video, we'll go back to Sothis and Seos and run some missions and then decide on another excursion. So until next time, thank you for watching.